high intensity, high repetition articulation therapy, again, is that focus on the short intensive drill work that systematically targets specific sound errors. And the drills are important because they improve motor memory and they foster automaticity. And I always think of the analogy, you know, when we're learning to uh, type or play the piano or do anything where motor mem memory is required, we know that we need that drill practice. So we need the repetition in order to make that the new normal in a sense of what we do or, and being able to arrive at the skill that we want. Uh, because when we first start, the normal is that we're slow and we're labored, we're thinking, we're just very much conscious of that activity or that skill that we're trying to arrive at. We are, we, we bring the, the skill to that conscious level where you're really working at it. But then it, the more we practice, we know, for example, with, with typing, that you can just, it becomes automatic. It becomes something that you don't think about. It's then subconscious. You just do it. And so that's the same idea. I try to, after giving them the strategies for specific sounds, after arriving at the stimulability, we first establish consistency and then I enforce speed or those rapid transitions while maintaining accuracy. So I always want accuracy first and then we push for speed so that they can be uh, more automatic and, and arrive at automaticity. The abacus is by far the tool that I use most often and it's where I usually begin. And I always start, as I mentioned earlier, that I begin with syllables and double syllables. And so we will take their target sound. So let's say that we're working on R and I pair it with the long vowels. So we go through the little exercise, making sure that they're able to say re, re, ri, ro, ru. And once we establish accuracy and I'm really through the stimulability phase and I'm ready to have them begin practicing, I will have them start at the top and we'll go just basically from left to right and they'll just go through as they move each bead, they're saying the sounds. And you could do ray, 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 and go through the whole row with just ray, or you can alternate, whichever one's easier for the child. And if you alternate, then it would just be ray, re, ri, ro, ru, ray, re, ri, ro, ru, and they're going through. So we'll start with the top and then just move all the way down. So they're doing that repetition. So either, whether you're being sequential with the syllables that you're using or whether you're alternating, you are going from top to bottom, left to right. I can get 100 repetitions very quickly that way. Then we might, depending on how they're doing, I might have them speed it up just a little bit and then we'll go from bottom to top and from right to left. So though we basically go through the drill again and we are just moving the beads as we go along. And it's amazing that we can get through 100 to 200 repetitions in usually less than 15 minutes, depending on if I'm having to stop them. If there's any cueing that's necessary, it might slow us down a little bit. But if they're at a point where you're really not cueing that much and they're just able to get through it, you can get a lot of repetitions very quickly that way. So that's usually where I start. And what's nice is they're doing this drill, they're getting tons of repetitions, but they don't feel like that it's a drill. It's the drill without the feeling of drill. So it keeps them engaged. They like moving the beads. I have not found a child yet who does not enjoy using the abacus. 